Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Kansas State Wildcats taking on another team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Buffaloes will put total leather and we'll get started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Kansas State Wildcats offense takes the field to start this game off. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. If they have any intention of getting this drive going, they better come up with something on second and long from the 10. Johnson looking to throw. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I love the job here by the linebacker. He just kind of floats and he's shuffling and he's waiting to see which way the quarterback's gonna go with the football. Not able to snag it out of the air, but hey, batting it away, it's a big time play. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Getting some heat. And the quarterback goes down all the way back in his four yard line. Well, the defense has the opponent backed up in their own end, and they are pinning their ears back, getting after the quarterback. You see the athleticism and the speed they have up front as they're able to notch that sack. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it. The awareness, the ability to see the ball to break on the football. And he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking his safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry-up. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the move. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. A third and long here. They can't pick up the first down without getting the touchdown. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And he's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Buffaloes! Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. The give to the tailback. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Leaves it with the back. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard gain. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Johnson wants to throw it. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Kansas State will have to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. Motion from the offense. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Hayden. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. A first down for the offense. To throw, it's Sanders. Got a man. Knocked down for the tackle. Just keep giving him the easy catches until they do something to stop it. Yeah, you're going to dictate to the defense. You're going to make the defense cover him up, and then obviously it leaves the middle of the field a little bit more wide open for receiver for a tight end. So QB keeps making the right decision, getting the ball to the running back, and he's making plays. On second down, looking again to throw. Quickly complete. Touchdown, Colorado! What a grab and go for the score. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They've got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back looking for help. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going. He just keeps moving. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. I bet that running back's eyes got so big when he gets that handoff going to the right and he sees the huge holes. Yes, please. The defense just didn't flow quickly enough. All of the blockers had leverage on their men. Man, that defensive line has to get off the ball a little bit better, get some penetration to stop that outside run. He wants to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Swanson. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Johnson looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. Nice pitch and catch there. And they'll have enough for the first down. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. And the Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Finds his tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. After that last completion, it's second down. They'll leave it with him. Got the first down and still on his feet. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. What great discipline showed by the defense. When your job's contained, you're supposed to contain the football, not let your eyes deceive you. Ball starts to go away. Your job is to still contain the backside. Great job staying disciplined. Great win for the defense. It's reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Johnson wants to throw it. They're setting up the screen. Oh, sweet feet! They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Great job, too, by the QB there, holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Wants to throw on first down. Snags it! They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? 
going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Into the house. Touchdown, Wildcats! And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead, but they still have plenty of work to do. And they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half where you're fighting to come back by so many points. So great job getting points, get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. An 84-yard drive there. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. The Buffaloes want to move quickly. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Makes a grab over the middle. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. When you play zone coverage and you got a wide receiver that's a beast, it becomes very, very difficult. Got to make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. After the misfire now on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Hayden. Gets it past the marker. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right, you see that blocking and all the holes open up. That's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side. They just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Caught over the middle. It's Hunter. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Well, he was licking his chops. As soon as he saw Blitz, he knew some guy was trying to cover him man-to-man. -man. Ain't going to happen. With his skill set, he's one of the best in the country, and that is just way too easy. And the Buffaloes getting set on first and ten. Handoff to the lone back. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. On the run, it's Sanders. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense.
This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Got his man quickly. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical, they're too fast, and they force a negative play. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Doesn't have a straight-on shot here. He'll kick it from the left hash and 39 yards out. It is perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Running back searching for a hole. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree. Jesse Reese, see, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch him get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. The Wildcats heading quickly to the line. Johnson looking to throw. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And a big play on the left sideline. Excellent awareness to get that foot in bounds. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and 10 in the red zone. Hand off from the shotgun. Baird is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Kansas State! One of the things I love about this QB as a runner is not just his athleticism, but how tough he is. He can run in between the tackles in the middle of the field, push the pile, break tackles. Linebackers are trying to bring him down. He just keeps his feet driving. That is impressive. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. I guess it could have been worse on that return. He goes out of bounds at the 15. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. 
David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking to throw at Sanders. Quick strike complete. Gives him a little shake, and he's got some room. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wide out. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. This time, it's complete. In the slant route, you've got to put that foot in the ground and cut in in a hurry so you can create a little bit of separation from that cornerback and a nice job with the concentration, plucking that football, pulling it in. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? They'll try to get it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can point for. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets... And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. To the ground with the back. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Gets it out fast. Oh, there might have been trouble if they hadn't knocked him down so quickly. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Back to throw, it's Sanders. He's got an open man. That's a fumble. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. You know, this is a receiving group that practices making catches in traffic, and they're used to having guys trying to rip it free. He's got to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure. After he makes the catch, that's a costly giveaway. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. 
There's enough time left in the half here, David, to make something happen. Dang right. I, I want to be aggressive. I I'm not backed up on my own end. I, I can stay aggressive here. Try to get a field goal, Palmer. Try to get in range to get some kind of points before half. Yeah, two biggest things are you got to protect the quarterback, and the QB cannot throw a pick here in this situation. If you do those two things, you got an opportunity here to steal some points. Just enough time to get off one more snap. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Looking to throw on second down. Lofts one high and deep. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. Kansas State will kick off as we get things started here in the third quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Got his man on the right. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Going to the running game. Got room at the 35. And he breaks into the open. He's at the 20. He was loose and setting sail, and they stop him at the six-yard line. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He makes a grab. Knocked off his feet. Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. They're going to run it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Okay, this close to the goal line, fourth down, what do you do? No question, no hesitation. QB, stay out there on the field. We're going for this thing. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. They're on the left hash. You'll have no trouble with the distance, but that angle may give him an issue. Just drives it between the uprights. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. 
from inside the 10. Here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Working on the right. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Kansas State quick to the line. Johnson wants to throw it. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, that's a bang-bang play. It's just a hitch throw, and that's normally just pitch and catch, but awesome coverage by the defense there. Now on second down after the incompletion. Looking for space. It's Giddens. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Dances away to buy time. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of downs. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion. This offense has a second down play. They run the reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. And you got to love this if you're the defensive coordinator because your defense stayed disciplined. They didn't over pursue to the running back. They stayed home, played great with their eyes, and were able to make the tackle. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Johnson looking to throw. Forced out of the... And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. Kansas State will have to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Trying to start the drive with a pass. He looks that one in nicely. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. Love the location of the throw on that slant pass. Put it out in front of the receiver, put it on his face mask so he can catch it and try to advance. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. From the gun, the running back looking for room. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. 
It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll try to pop the draw. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Third down and short, they choose to pass it. They got the whole playbook open because it's third and short. On their own side of the field, you could tell the QB wasn't going to make a mistake. He did not want to force the ball, make a bad decision. He throws the football away, lives to fight another down. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Handoff from the gun. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide out in motion. Rides to the back. He has the first and still on his feet. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Big catches. Big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Trying to find his man on first down. Turns it loose deep. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. Really nice play by the defender. Being in a good position for that deep ball down the field. Not letting the receiver put his big body on him. Go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender. And it was an interception. But great coverage by the defender. Here's the handoff. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Johnson wants to throw it. Using his feet to buy time. Short gain on the play before he slides. Well, just a really nice job there on that third down, trying to get after this quarterback. And obviously, they're not able to make the play in the backfield, but really nice job pursuing. You see the athleticism and the speed they have, how they play as a unit together. Only giving up a little bit of a gain and now setting up fourth down. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. Looking for room. It's Hayden. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. 
Defense doing their job getting that last stop. And now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this. So defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got it in the middle. It's Horn. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. To the air, it's Sanders. It's caught. And he makes a completion there, set up and in business at the 20. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Now from inside the red zone, using the quick game. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that round. Now on second down. He wants to throw it again. He got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Bucks. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Why not double the try total and go for two? Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback keeper. He's into the end zone for the two and extends the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. K-State has the ball back, and the power cat offense returns to the field. Unloads to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's Johnson. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. And the Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Kansas State pushing the pace. 
Johnson looking to throw. Makes the grab. Down to the three-yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and goal. He is dealing on this drive, completed all five throws, and now they have first and goal. Yeah, and who needs balance when you got a guy like this? You trust him, getting the ball back in the pocket. The ball's coming out, spreading it around the field. Nice decision-making. This drive has been surgical for this QB. Out of the gun, looking to throw. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Man, I tell you what, when you get inside of the three, I think your tendency is to run the football, run the football, run the football. The offense, try to change it up a little bit, maybe try to throw it. I, I don't like it, and obviously it didn't work, but at least you got a few more downs here to try to make up for it. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wildcats. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Personal foul. Welcome to kicker. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. No shot to return that one as he boomed it out of the back of the end zone. The defense is going to dare them to throw the ball. They know the offense is trying to run out the clock. Fires to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on from the 47-yard line on first and 10. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. The Buffaloes decide to punt it away. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll start this drive with a pass. Quickly complete. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced a punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going.
He'll come out throwing on first down. The short hands, it's Cephas. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Johnson wants to throw it. Looking to the big tight end. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Got to give this defense a lot of credit because even down to the last seconds of this football game, we're seeing outstanding effort. QB taking a shot down the middle of the field. There's a defender swatting it away. They have had this quarterback's number all game long, and that's why they're winning this game. Shotgun snap on third down. Finds the tight end. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw right down the middle. Got his man. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. Let's see what they've got on second down. Johnson looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. 